Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I got a package in the mail from one of my friends from Instagram named HWMJ Collector. Not the HWMJ Collector, it's a different person, he doesn't have a YouTube, but his name is HWMJ Collector. So today, well a couple, like a week ago actually, I ordered some trucks from him. Um, we, we were on a hangout together, and he was in Walmart, and he found some trucks, and also two NASCARs that I needed, so he picked them up for me, and I paid him for them. So yeah, this is a purchase video from my man from Instagram, like, like I said, his Instagram name is HWMJ Collector, so go give him a follow. But yeah, he got me three trucks and two NASCARs. Here's a look at the package. You guys can see it right there. So I'm going to open the actual package. Oh, uh, actually, I might be able to open it in front of the camera. I was going to say I'll open it behind, but I'll give it a shot. So, actually, nope, it's too big. I'm just going to open it behind the camera. Yep. So, I'm going to open it behind the camera. So, yeah, pretty excited about this. I'm going to unbox the three trucks and two NASCARs and then review all five of them. So, yeah, pretty excited about this. Alright, so I got it open. Now, here's what it looks like from the top. You guys can see right there. You can tell the one on top is a Hot Wheels Monster Jam truck from Case M. The uh, second to last case for Mattel ever. So, anyways, yeah, I'll take the bubble wrap out. And we'll get right into it. Alright, so, I got them all out. And just put all the bubble wrap and stuff to the side. Okay, so... The first, um, I'll start off by showing the monster trucks and then the NASCAR. So yeah, I needed one more truck from this case. This is Case K. Now, I only need one from this case. What do you guys think it is? I've said it many times before. The only one that I'm missing is Big Kahuna, and now I have it. So Big Kahuna is one of them. There it is right there. Might be my favorite in the case. This one and Radical Rescue are very, very close. But yeah, I got Big Kahuna. Now, the next two are both from the same case. They're from Case M. And I only need two from that case, which, what do you guys think they are? The only three new ones are the first three, Flashback Blue Thunder, Cletus Clear Crushers, and Flashback Carolina Crusher. And of course, I already have Cletus, so that means they are Blue Thunder and Carolina Crusher. Here's the Flashback Blue Thunder. And last but not least, for the monster trucks, we have Flashback Carolina Crusher. So there it is right there. So yeah, now I'll show you guys the two NASCARs, and then we will get into the unboxing. So, they are actually from two different waves. Now, one of them is from the second wave of the year, and one of them is from the fourth. So this one is from wave four. Which one do you guys think it is? I actually didn't start collecting in the beginning of the year. I started collecting, like, around wave six, I think. So I never actually saw this wave in stores. I have a couple of them. I have the six of Trevor Bain, and I think that's it. Oh, no, I have Bowman and Truex, actually. Yeah, Truex, Bowman, and Trevor Bain. So which one do you guys think this is? It is Daniel Suarez's Stanley, so I'm very happy to get this one. One of my favorite paint schemes from Daniel Suarez. So, yeah, and the last one is from Wave 2. I need all these right here. So, uh, yeah, which one do you guys think it is? It is William Byron's Exalta. I really like this scheme. Probably my favorite William Byron scheme from the year. So yeah, that is that, and that is all five things that he got me, so now we will go into the unboxing. We'll start off, I guess, we'll do Flashback Carolina Crusher first, so here it is, because this one's kind of already opened, so uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the unboxing. So there it is, here's the crush car, Yep. so we'll put that off to the side, along with the package. So yeah, here's the truck. I have now finished Case M with this and Flashback Blue Thunder. So yeah, obviously this is like a yellowish whitish color for the main body, and it says Carolina Crusher right there. Carolina is in the uh, right there in the that's supposed to be a state. I don't know if that's North or South Carolina because I'm not that bright, but it's probably North Carolina, but I don't know for sure. Anyways, it says Hot Wheels right there. And then we got like a uh, truck right there in the bottom right. We got the Monster Gym logo and then the Hot Wheels logo right there, and then just plain on the back. Here's the other side. Again, we got the Hot Wheels and Monster Jam logo, and it says Carolina Crusher, and it says Hot Wheels right there. And obviously, this is a plain truck because it is a flashback, and this is what Carolina Crusher used to look like. Here's what it looks like from the front, and uh, yeah, here is the top. So yeah, red roll cage, uh, gray rims, of course, and yeah, that is the flashback Carolina Crusher. Not much else to show with that one, so there it is. So um, yeah, next up, we have flashback Blue Thunder. So I'm going to move this back a little bit. There we go. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this. This is the last truck that I needed from Case M. So, uh, yep, here's the crush car. Yellow, yep. And, uh, yeah, now here's the actual truck, Flashback Blue Thunder. Now, they never made this exact version, I don't believe, in Hot Wheels Monster Jam. They may have, but I don't think they made this exact version. Well, obviously not, because this is the new tooling 
which um, that's kind of interesting that they used a new tooling for a flashback truck. But uh, anyways, they've made a truck very similar to this. I know in 2013 they made one very similar. So yeah, here it is. Obviously, this is a flashback. So it says Blue Thunder right there like it used to back in the day. And then, of course, we got the lightning bolts going all around the truck. And then the Hot Wheels and Monster Jam logo back there. Uh, yeah, more lightning bolts on the back. A very nice color. I really like the blue on this. It looks really sweet. So yeah, Blue Thunder right there. And then the Hot Wheels and Monster Jam logo again, of course, with the lightning bolts. The detail on this one is really sweet. The like glossy kind of blue is really cool. It says Blue Thunder. And you got all the lightning bolts. And uh, yeah, that is the flashback Blue Thunder. I don't know why this is kind of like foggy, but anyways, yeah, it's flashback Blue Thunder. So those are the two that I got from Case M. And now we will go on to the final truck and the one that I still needed from Case K, and it is Big Kahuna. So let's go ahead and crack it open. So there's the truck. Put the garbage off to the side and take out the crush car. So here is the crush car right here. If you guys can see it right there. Yep. So, um, yeah, here is Big Kahuna. Now, this one obviously is not a normal paint. Um, it is a, uh, like a rusty kind of paint that they've used on some trucks in the past, like the World Finals 17 Avenger and uh, other trucks like that, Monster Much Junkyard Dog, Soldier Fortune. So, yeah, here it is, Big Kahuna. I really like this one. The rust on this is really, really sweet. Um, awesome truck. So yeah, it says Big Kahuna, of course. Then you got like the Hawaiian dude right there. And it says uh, Hot Wheels and it says U.S. Body and the Monster Jam logo. And the rust on this is really sweet. The detail on this truck is amazing. So yeah, here's the back. We got some more rust. Definitely my favorite Big Kahuna. Only the second Big Kahuna ever released, but definitely a nice one. It says Big Kahuna right there. You guys can see all the detail. And uh, yeah, this is like I said, like a rust kind of paint to give it that rust uh, feel and design and look. So yeah, looks really nice, and you got the Hawaiian guy on the top, and the rust on the top as well, or the Hawaiian guy on the hood, and then the rust on the top, and yeah, that is Big Kahuna, not much else to show about that, so there is Big Kahuna, one last look at it, and yeah, those are the three trucks that he got me, so thank you so much, HWMJ Collector, I really do appreciate it, so yeah, now we have Daniel Suarez NASCAR, let's jump right into it, hopefully I have enough storage to record this video, so... Yeah, here is the magnet that comes with it. It says Daniel Suarez, Stanley, number 19. Pretty sweet. And, yeah, I'll put the garbage off to the side. All right, so here is the actual car. This is my second Daniel Suarez car of the year. I do have his um, peak, I believe it is, from earlier this year. So, yeah, here it is right here. So, of course, the main sponsor on the hood is Stanley, and it says Mac Tools underneath it. It is a Toyota, Toyota Camry. And, uh, yeah, it says 19 on the side. The uh, colors, like yellow, black, and gray, go really nice together. And, of course, it says Stanley, and you got all the sponsors on the side, like Mechanics Wear, 3M, k and Pro Series, and all that. Or just k and I meant, yep. So, it says Stanley on the back, and then, of course, a Toyota Camry, number 19. Here's the other side, number 19, Stanley. Also says Eris, right above where it says Stanley, right above the T right there. Eris, his main sponsor. And, uh, yeah, of course, I already showed you the hood, and then the number 19 right there. So yeah, very cool car and very awesome to own this one. So there's one last look at the Daniel Suarez Stanley car. So yeah, now last but not least, we have probably one of my favorite cars that I've got this year and definitely my favorite paint scheme of the year, or for, for this driver at least, and it is William Byron. So let's go ahead and open it. I really do like his uh, Liberty Mutual, I think it is, as well. So yeah, there's the magnet for that. And uh, yeah, that one's really cool too, but I think this one has got to be my favorite. So we'll put the garbage off to the side, and yeah, here it is. So the colors on this one is very, very interesting. So it's like a, um, let's get something to hold the camera up. Yep, so it's like a, it's not black, it's like almost like a blue glossy color, like a very dark blue. It looks really nice. Of course, it's Exalta. Jeff Gordon drove this exact scheme except a different color. It was all black back in like 2014 or 15. So yeah, of course, it says William Byron right above the window net. It says Daniel Suarez right above his window net as well. I didn't mention that, but it's kind of self-explanatory. But uh, yeah, of course, on the hood, it says Exalta with the flames. And you got number 24 on the side with the flames going up and Exalta. And of course, you got all these sponsors, pretty much the same ones that were on Daniel Suarez. So yeah, that's that. Here's a look on the back. It says Exalta, Exalta Coating Systems. And that's a uh, Chevy Camaro. So yeah, 24 on the side with the flames going up it. Exalta. Um, you can see the Liberty University. Right on the back, like I said, there's Liberty University paint scheme is really cool as well. It says Va uh, Valvoline right there. And yeah, here is the top, number 24. And you got the flame going up it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much that. A very cool car, to say the least. And I really like that one. 
So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up. And also, um, if you guys are not yet following HWMJ Collector on Instagram, make sure you go do so. He's a very awesome guy. And go get him to 500 followers. So yeah, here is all the stuff he got me. One last look at it all. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much, man, for all this stuff, the three trucks and the two NASCARs. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like. And as always, turn on post notifications so you're notified every time that I make a YouTube video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Also, make sure to leave a comment and tell me your thoughts on this in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time.